Hey guys, I thought I would do a little uh, video on this little project I did. I started it in spring and ended somewhere around summer, which I still want to do more work to it. It's a uh, desk that I uh, turned into a little go kart. Um, I believe it's a late 70s, early early 80s desk. It's a uh, I got it from my principal as a graduation gift from that school. So yeah, that little three horse brakes on it. Um, I'm currently putting a new carburetor on because this one has a busted off butterfly. I have the new carburetor right here and I have this bigger tank, like a more like a go-kart style tank instead of that little tiny thing. Um, all it is is angle iron. All I did was just bolted everything together so I could easily take it apart. All I do is pull these four bolts off and the entire desk will lift, will lift right off and it'll just be a frame. Um, you know, I'm gonna put a gas pedal on it. This cable is junk, so I'm gonna get a new cable. Um, I took a uh, front end off a lawnmower and made this little joint joiner thing here, coupler, and it combines the two shafts. That's a Murray shaft going into a Troy Bill gear going into an MTD input shaft welded down here to an MTD steering. This is an MT front end. Took these little. Um, tie rod pieces and put a little piece thread to rod in between it over to the original TD piece and uh, it works good it's a uh, direct steering so that right there is all the way okay that right there is all the way turned to the left and then that much is already turned to the right it's very um, let's see if I can get it very sensitive steering just like a go kart should be so uh, yeah works good just had them all tied together down here into those uh, pieces of steel. I was going to run a brass bushing in there. I probably still will. I'm not too worried about it. Nice little piece of flat steel here for the uh, or sheet metal for the uh, floor pan. And then I took two pieces of angle for the uh, engine mount. The uh, clutch. Let me just get this out of the way. The current clutch I have on it is really bad. Um, it's, it, it looked like it was going to work. I was going to run a pedal instead of this. But it pulls up here, and then it tightens the belt, and that's how it's going to work. This is a blade deck spindle that I actually bolted a half of a centrifugal clutch to. I cut little notches in it for, like, notches or the, like, keyway, and I ran down to a standard go-kart chain, 30, number 35 chain. Works, I mean, it worked, but wasn't very good. This is really flimsy. That's why I have this ratchet strap on here to keep it all tight. Um, used to throw a chain a lot and stuff, so I put that on there and it seemed to help it. But, um, plan is I want to brace it up, dusted it up a little bit. I'm probably going to run pieces all the way up and then run supports down. So, um, yeah. And, uh, eventually I'm going to get rid of this clutch thing and, uh, put a spring set up here. So I can have a little centrifugal clutch here and I just hit the gas and it will take off. Maybe do a one-wheel peel. That'd be kind of cool. Um, for the rear axle, this is actually a, I think it's off a Honda Civic, not for sure. This is the axle that would have went across the, as a uh, tie rod end on like a Honda Civic. And I had somebody machine it down on the ends for the wheels to slide onto. And I just took little hose clamps and just clamped them on each side. And I took, uh, these are actually, uh, U-joints. I just bolted the entire thing to the steel. Worked great. So it's nice and tight, very well. And I also actually bolted this on the front end to the steel. So yeah, it's working pretty good. Um, the steering wheel is easy to pop off. The idea was that I'd be open to able to open the desk up, but the plan is I'm gonna cut this down. So the idea is that the will actually end up sitting lower. I'll probably end up having trims and stuff. And then I'll be able to open it up and put like stuff in. I can drive down to the dollar store or something. That'd be kind of cool. So. Maybe good McDonald's. That'd be kind of cool. I'm taking everything else to McDonald's. Taking my lawnmower to McDonald's. So. Yeah. Um, let me know if you guys like it. Uh. And maybe if you guys want to see some upgrades, videos on it or something, let me know if you want me to do some videos on this, because I plan on working on it. I've got a performance 5 horse brakes here, and i got a standard 5 horse brakes here. I'm planning on putting this 5 with the standard 5 on it, because that little 3.5 isn't cutting it. 
So, plan on doing that five with a centrifugal clutch with a belt off the end of it. So that's my plans for that. Um, yeah, the uh, Sears is sitting over there chilling. I think you guys saw it in the last video. I don't know. Still sitting there, exact same spot. It hasn't moved. So, but yeah, I thought I'd just introduce you guys to it. I also have this little. It's actually a breather off of a car, and I. It was like a really big bore, so I made this little adapter out of it. I think it was a cock tube or something. Um, it actually uses bolts. It just hose clamps right on there. It's kind of cool. And then I have a chrome gas cap on it. So, a little muffler comes out the edge outside here. Screws on there. So, yeah. Uh, I'm planning on making some brakes. Make a little... This little existing piece here, I'm going to run it up and over, and then I can bolt or have a little brake shoe band there. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know what color should I paint. I'm planning on doing, leaving the seat alone, but I want to paint the uh, box. Probably, I'm, I, I, I actually am probably going to end up painting it blue, and then maybe I'll go online and see if I can find a desktop that's gray, which would have been original for this seat. I like the blue and the gray, it's a little bit more modern. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh...